Okay, here we go with the Sitme LC. And uh, we've got the uh, Hollow Sun HS515BU on top of it. And uh, <clears throat> I'm shooting uh, no, no rear support, front support. Weapons all safe, 100 yards. Okay, 300 yard target. I'm gonna dial down my <clears throat> sight. This is 300 yards. Now, y'all can see the two triangles on there. I'm just gonna go center mass. That 200 yard group was, <laughs> I don't know if I'd call that a group or not, but uh, it, it hit. But let's go out here. Yeah, it sounded like a hit. Yeah, that sounded like, let me check the camera. The very bottom, and it, it's with a 300 yard zero. Uh, tell you what, I want to shoot two more. This time I'm going to aim at the uh, chest. Or, well, not center mass, but at the shoulders, rather. Ah, oh, that sounded good. Okay, so, it sent me. Can engage out to 300, no problem at all. No problem whatsoever. All right, let's move to 400 and see if we can hit it. We were able to hit it with the, uh, oh, the uh, Galil SAR. All right, we got the 400 in the camera. Now I'm aiming at the shoulders on that last engagement. Get my sling. On around here. All right, we're shooting 55 grain, uh, uh, full metal jacket loaded with uh, accurate 2230, running 20, 25.2 grains. So I think I'm going to have to go right. Above the head. That sounded like a hit. That did not sound like a hit. And I just like that trigger pull. All right, let's load up some more and send me. We'll put five in this time. The uh, LC, uh, I've been real happy with it. I ain't had a bobble with it yet. Of course, I haven't had that with any of the, the L, the LVS, or the LC here. Okay, we're back at 400. All right, there's two hits there. Can we do five? Can we do it? I don't know. Let's try. Okay, the, the, the hollow sun has a two MOA dot. So at 500, it's taking up 10 inches of my... I believe it's uh, 18 inches across there. And, uh, hmm.
or it's 20 by 30, something like that. I can't remember exactly what it is. But, uh, all right, that was above the head. I'm probably going to go above the mound this time. This is when you need a spotter. All right, guys, the LC at 600 yards. Now, at the 500, I, I definitely see one hit. I, I don't know if I see the second hit, uh, but it's shooting true left and right, and uh, the elevation. And uh, I would say uh, I'm going to have to almost be about five foot over the top of the target so uh this this on whim <clears throat> the lc has already surpassed expecta expectations but uh you'd hate to think somebody walking around one of these could engage somebody at 600 yards with it Nah, 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 can't be. Okay, no hit there. But the sent me LC was able to take it out to 500. And uh, guys, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's it just an awesome setup. Uh, we'll take you back. We'll go into the barn and uh, get under the lights and really uh, talk about it. But uh, we'll shut this down out here to 600. And we'll see you in the brief. Okay, welcome, Lacey Range viewers. Just like I told you just a second ago, we got we're in the barn and under the lights, and we have the sent me LC up here. A couple of little things go along with it, and then I couldn't I couldn't miss the chance to get out the uh, LVS. Now my sent me L is with uh, Rob, so hopefully uh, Rob has a video out sometime in the next six seven months and. Uh, shows the uh, L running through its paces. But uh, the LC held its own. Can't say nothing bad about it. Uh, as we pull it up here, you know, a 12 and a half inch barrel going out to uh, at least 500 yards and getting one hit is not bad. At 600, I was scaring the crap out of him. I know I was close. And, uh, of course, that's running with a, a red dot here. Um, you know, with a, if I went with the primary arms, uh, of course, my, my thing would have been off uh, scale inside the uh, scope. But uh, it probably would have helped me get in there. And to put it on here wouldn't be too bad. But I already had this uh, hollow sun on it. And um, let me explain why <laughs> I'm running the hollow sun and uh you know lvs got the sight on it man my eyes are getting work and you know this is a fairly short distance right here and the front sight post on both of these is very very thin now when i was 20 to 40 years old that is exactly what i would want and need but at 53 and uh, i'm nearsighted uh, I can't, the, the post just disappears on the target. And uh, I'm going to have to eventually get something done about it. Uh, I noticed I was out shooting a uh, M27 fin yesterday and uh, not doing as well as I thought I should do. 
and I remember I've, I've had it for a few years. The last time I shot of it, shot the gun, I, I felt really good about how it did. Yesterday I did not feel so good, but I think the short point <laughs> is me. I just can't see the front sight. Now, if I can use, uh, I may have to start shooting the big old long uh, uh, 1891 model so I can see the front sight, but who knows. But anyway, back on, on the LC. Of course, I've got the 30 round uh, sent me mag in there. Uh, no bolt hold, op hold open on it. And of course, e everything's empty, clear, safety on. But uh, nice little system. And, and it may. I, I'm not even going to complain about the weight too bad. It, it's. Uh, but it's not as light, light as AR-15 uh, M4 configuration, but uh, it's not bad. It really, and it feels good, compact, everything. I, I, I'm not a, I, these uh, split rail stocks like the AKs, the H&Ks have, and the Sydney do not bother me whatsoever. I, I, I seem to be able to get a good cheek rest. Now, you, you press the button, come in. Now that's a pretty short, handy package right there. Sling it over one shoulder, and uh, it, especially if you're a tank crewman, uh, anything where your main job is not, you know, just getting in the middle of it, this this is your bad boy. And I, I imagine one of these in uh, full auto would be really nice. And of course, it locks. Come all the way out. Now the uh, one unique thing about the uh, the LC compared to the L or the LVS, uh, of course, this isn't, doesn't have the rear portion back on it, but you can see both uh, pistol grips are back to the wood here, and essentially the front the the relationship between the front sight and the rear sight is the same. Even though this has got a 12 inch barrel and this has got a 16 inch barrel, it, it's the same. Uh, there's very few, like you take the M16 to the M4, you're losing quite a bit on sight radius down there. But uh, the Spanish maintained that. Uh, Michael Moore continued it. And, and uh, another thing, uh, this particular LC that I bought, I, I requested to get the rail on it. On my sent me L, I got the rail on it. Uh, is that exactly like the Spanish use? No. But... If I get the chance to get a rail that's welded onto something, uh, especially with my eyes getting like they are, uh, I, I jump all over it. I, I can handle that not being exact. And it, as y'all may know, I love to have guns that are like they are in service. Um, but, you know, you got to face up to some of the stuff that's, that's happening to you and uh, make, make allowances for it. But once again, fun gun. A uh, good old bipod goes on the uh, the uh, L and the LVS, and uh, it, this also works on the Sent Me C, which uh, I've got one in there. Uh, the bayonet for the LC. That's a bad looking boy. That'd even get to a fat boy like me. Uh, make a bad day for you, but uh, looks good. Well, it seems to be well made. It it really feels good for a long bladed bayonet. Um, of course, we got some 855 and 856 down here. Here's the grenade launching magazine, and uh, of course, you're not going to launch grenades with the LC, but the uh, the L you definitely can, and uh, you need to make sure you got the grenade launching cartridges in it. Uh, they did have a blank adapter for it. I haven't looked it up. I'm sure it's pretty similar to what we had in the U.S. since the flash hiders are so similar also. Uh, bolt release right here, uh, 200, 400 on the rear sight, and uh, safety on the left side. I don't know much else to tell you about the LC, but my understanding is Michael Barnes has done sold all, the, all of them. So unless some more kits pop up somewhere, uh, you, you're going to have to buy it on the secondary market, which is really going to probably drive up the price. And, and I really, guys, 
just be clear with you, uh, Macklemore, and if, if you go to HK, uh, uh, all the forum for HK, uh, there's several good write-ups on these rifles. And this is my prediction. David Bain and them, they did a fine, excellent job of putting these things back together. Uh, craftsmanship is better than the Spanish ever put into it. Uh, and, and you may know the history. Of course, if you look at Forgotten Weapons or some of them, they really, really did not have that good a service life because the shape shod lack of uh, maintaining standards uh, that the Spanish arsenals did on it. But David and them have done a fine job with it. Uh, like I said, I've got three, three of them uh, total and haven't missed a bobble one. And uh, I highly recommend them. And this is the other thing to follow up with. Uh, you know, after he builds these, these are probably going to be it. And the only thing that's going to happen to them is they're going to go up. So get out there, jump on one, and get it. And you can say, uh, you can blame it on me with your wife. But get out there and get it, enjoy it, shoot it. Uh, I, did, I forgot to tell you all, it is one in seven barrels. Uh, so you can shoot uh, 55 grain or even up to 77 grains. And uh, enjoy it. And I want to tell you all about it. The first time I took this out to uh, shoot it at the 600, and uh, I took, I mistakenly took my match load 77 grains, and uh, you know the 77 grain once it's in there, I mean you, you got to really look hard to tell the difference between it and the 55 grain. You know when the bullet's seated back and everything, same length, and uh, I started shooting it, and of course I had to adjust the sight. And I thought. Man, I know I had this sighted in because I did it out here at the house. And, uh, man, it was at 100 yards, it was turning in some pretty impressive groups. Then I figured out, oh, man, that's my dang match ammo. So I had to, had to stop shooting that day and uh, take it back home and uh, go out and do it again. But hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions about it, you know, put them in the remarks, send them to me. Uh, Hopefully here real soon I'll start having some uh, Lacey Rain shirts that we can maybe start moving out and doing that. But uh, y'all get out there, shoot, enjoy it, be safe, and we'll see you the next time.